During these unique times, Cortland knows that we're all trying to practice social distancing, so calling in a service request may not be at the top of your list. But Cortland wants to make sure that your home is functioning properly. So we've developed these short videos that will walk you through the most commonly requested tasks that you as a resident can perform yourself, limiting you and your family to additional exposure in your home. Please note, our service teams are still available. In this video, I will walk you through the troubleshooting and resetting of your electrical breaker. Oftentimes, breakers will trip if there are too many items plugged into one circuit, or if you're hanging a picture on the wall and you run a screw through the drywall and you hit an electrical wire, which will cause a short in the wire and subsequently cause the breaker to trip. Or if there is a damaged extension cord in use, which will also cause the breaker to trip. The first step is to locate the electrical panel, which is usually located in the laundry room, utility room, in the bedroom behind the door, or in this case, it's located in the garage. This is a typical breaker panel. It has a bunch of breakers. Some of them are doubled, which provide additional current for items like an HVAC unit, hot water heater, or an electric dryer. As you can see, most of the breakers are singles. They control all of your lights and outlets in your home. When the breakers are pressed in towards each other, they are in the on position. If you have a trip breaker, you would first know because the outlets would not have power or a GFCI will not reset. You can come out to the panel and check the position of the breaker. You are looking for a breaker that is not in line or pushed away from the center like this one. To reset the breaker, simply flip the trip breaker to the off position, then flip it back to the on position. If the breaker stays in the on position, then head back to the GFCI. You will notice that the indicator light is now on. Press the reset button and your breaker has been reset. If the breaker continues to trip, unplug any items that are plugged into the affected circuit and try to reset the breaker again. Oftentimes, items like space heaters or large coffee makers tend to draw more power than a typical appliance, which will cause the breaker to trip. If the breaker still won't reset, then it's time to submit a service request. Thank you again for joining me today, and I look forward to our next project together.